Hey granddad, uh, welcome to another video of me uh, getting hives out of ceilings. So this one had moved into a house that was eight months old. So the first home builders told me, and it was right at their front doorstep. So I, it didn't take long to set this up. They reckon maybe four to five weeks at the most, which I believe them because it's something you wouldn't uh, miss if there was a decent amount of bees going in and out of your ceiling. So I got the sheet off, as you can see, and they're right there on that cross beam, and there's probably about six sections of uh, honeycomb, and there's so much honeycomb. It filled up a tub that I popped up there to catch it all. So got the bee recovery device off and running, and vacuuming away as it should be. Sorry about that camera moving around a little bit, doing the best I can. A bit uh, distracted by getting all these bees collected, as you can see. Um, because I pulled the roof sheet off, I decided I went with gloves, and I did uh, make a good choice there. I was pretty happy with that. Uh, after um, seeing how vicious they were with the gloves once I got on there, and they were upset because you take a roof sheet off and some of the honeycomb was attached to it, they're not going to be happy. In some other scenarios, I have been able to um, sit there and vacuum out without really any PPE because there hasn't been that uh, initial disruption to stir them all up. And uh, these guys were just not happy. So um, once I started getting into it and um, collecting quite a few, it started to disarm them a little bit. For the most part, they were uh, not happy and were giving my gloves what for. Um, and getting me a few times through the gloves, which is um, not surprising with uh, how um, how many bees are in this hive. It's got the first little section of honeycomb out there, and I do decide I'm going to go get my um, correct tools really for the job. So really, I need a scraper or a cutting edge. I thought about a knife, but I popped down and I grabbed the the proper bee tool out of the car. So I just pop the vacuum underneath the, the sheet of tin to um, to keep collecting bees while I'm not there. And yeah, I'll, uh, well, I'm sure I do. I've got to, I did. What am I doing? Just faffing around, collecting what bees I can see in front of me. The video does speed up, speed up in time, so it does help um, turn a, uh, what, half an hour, 40 minutes it took to um, collect this hive. Um, that would, I do speed this video up to um, not completely bore my audience to death. So I'm going to get bored talking about it. <coughs> right, come on. I must be getting close to fast forward time. Are we getting close? Yes, I think we are. Let's pop that over there. Uh, it's pretty good to make it a little bit of adjustment so it's sitting there close to where the bees are wandering around so as they wander past it they'll get sucked into the bee vacuum so fast forwarding i think is it so close to fast forwarding so yeah look there uh, i've only taken one piece of honeycomb out and exposed some of the brood that are in there and they're still running around panicking which is not a big deal but um, it's just about cleaning it off well so now I'm starting to do that so uh, I do need to and will um, carry cinnamon with me um, just to sprinkle around the area to uh, deter any future hives very handy trick and um, I have to get some feedback for some other clients that I've helped to see if it actually helped uh, at all deter them Another piece of honeycomb coming out, and this there would be about uh, 350 mil long. These sections, maybe by 200 mil high. So we'll just. Uh, I'm probably having a good look at one piece, not in front of the camera, which would have been nice, but to having a look at it and seeing uh, how populated it was when I was removing this section. And taking my time too. Come on, mate, get back to work. 
So it's going to be a vacuum tube and uh, keep drawing them out. So, yeah, basically, if I can collect up as many bees as I can, I'm giving them the best chance to, to rebuild once I uh, move them into their final home. Um, that's helpful. Getting right in there amongst it, just chasing them around and vacuuming up the little workers. Looks like the speed's about to change in a second, whether it's going to go faster or slower. I'm hoping faster, because I'm in the way. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Having some progress. Just keep digging. It's good, another section there. So that's three full length pieces of honeycomb. Uh, brood, I should say the right word in there. So it's, it's bee wax comb, but it's all brood. There is no uh, honey. Uh, they hadn't started building up a store just yet. They had started a little bit at the back there, that clump you can see at the top of that beam. Um, they had started storing nectar in there, but they they really hadn't put a decent effort into it. Um, I guess the work you're building out there. Brood dummies first. It's all coming out pretty well. And all these smooth edges were was very good, very excellent to, to scoop the bees up on. If it's uh, in a brick mailbox or... A tree or anywhere like that, they um, they can really cling on and and be quite tricky in getting them to let go. Let's just fast forward a bit more because see, yeah, uh, I'm in the way. In the way, bees everywhere climbing all over me. That's all right. No stings today. Oh, speeding up again. Another boring bit. Just keep chiseling away at the. At the uh, nest that they had built. Still in the way. Fast forwarding. This is good. Fast forward a bit more. Let's see what's actually going on in there. Oh, I'm just about done. Getting pretty close. Too easy. So I did have. <laughs> I did have a little uh, congregation. I didn't even know until I reviewed this video and started cutting it up into different speeds. There's a little congregation sitting on my back. So they were quite the little um, cohort that, were, that ended up on there. A good number of them just in a spot having a bit of a review of... Uh, a bit of a discussion about what's going on. Not happy. I would understand that. That makes sense. I'm just wrecked everything they've been building for the last month and a half and they were just having a bit of a chat about it what the hell do we do now that's probably why i couldn't get them all because they're hiding in my back very tricky that's it got it all cleaned out not um too many dramas there it all went together pretty well um lovely young couple like i said and uh, it all went really well, so I'm glad I uh, could help out and get this sorted with them and get these lovely little uh, ladies somewhere where they would be appreciated. No one wants them in your front door. No one wants that. Good days. Just chasing the last few. I wonder why I couldn't find them. Maybe because they're hiding on my back. There you go. Video ended. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that.